Hi, welcome to Ecarte's Crossing. Okay, today I want us to talk about Kipper cards. Now, um, there are lots of different types of Kipper cards. I've got Alexandra Mochuk's deck here, which I absolutely love. Now, there are many ways to read Kipper cards um, that I've seen being used in different ways. Um, I think it depends on the way you're taught or the way that it sort of speaks to you. For me, you could either choose a card that represents yourself, if you're doing the reading for yourself or for your client, or a topic that they want to talk about. Say, for example, they want to talk about um, career or job in some way. So they get the occupation card. Okay, so here we've got the occupation card. So tell me more about occupation. Tell me more about my career, my job, um, my occupation. What am I doing work-wise in regards? Let's have a look. Remember, these are just samples I'm just doing at the moment. It could give you something to sort of think about, reflect, and see how these cards go. So we're talking about occupation, right? Now, the first card we've got is a, the house. So we know we're working from home, right? Spot on. It does talk about me being the main person that's working from home. Okay, and... And maybe with um, good clients, involved with clients. Okay, it has got the good lord here, but I just think it's just a representation of clients in general that are that are good, you know, that are needing the help that they need. So that's interesting when you think about that. You know, I asked about my occupation. Here I got that I'm working from home, which is me, me working from home, and I'm dealing with... Um, good clients, you know, I'm dealing with positive people. <coughs> okay, so let's have a look. Say I wanted to talk about, I feel like someone's not being truly honest with me. So I just got false, per I feel like someone's being a false person. Someone's not being totally honest. So let's have a look and see what the cards have to say. So tell us about this false person that we're dealing with. Oh, they stole some money. Got lots of money here, so they actually stole some money. So they weren't very honest about it. And it happened at home. So it happened within the house. So they stole the money within the house. Or it could be related to the house. And it could be related to the querent to the person that's seeking the reading and I just feel like I'm just going to do um, two more cards here here we've got a male involved so it could be to do with a male as well in the picture and this male was someone who was um, very um, honourable very honourable person, okay. So here you've got this woman. I feel like maybe this woman was the thief. Maybe this woman was the thief, and it happened in the house. Happened in relation to the house. It was to do with the money, and it did cause a sense of legal matters within that for the male. So that's interesting. So that relates to somebody. Uh, we were talking about the false person, we talked about the um, money, happened at the house, it might have been a woman, that false person could have been a woman, maybe, in that sort of or very feminine energy with it. And here you've got it maybe to do with a male who was very honourable, but it caused him some legal matters on the situation. I love doing the readings like that, really quick and easy. 
the other way you could do is to say let's have a look what we're going to do the reading it out now let's have a look and let's do maybe we've got something to do with a journey maybe if we're traveling okay so we want to know all about the traveling so tell us all about the traveling so we're going to look at can you tell us about the past the past to the traveling was that it was a long journey it was quite difficult some sad news it's quite difficult And it was a place that a lot of people gathered, like the living room. So there was, a, so I feel like there was definitely sad. There was a lot of people around. So I feel like it was um was in a was in a room that a lot of people gathered at some stage. But it's been also a very long journey through it. Maybe it ended, maybe in the past, was where it was left. It was left in the living room. Was the last place it was. Okay, so. In the moment, let's have a look about, about this journey right now. It's talking about legal matters. So it could be causing some issues and things going on. And it is bringing a sense of change. The journey is changing to the process. Right, so let's have a look at to the future. To the future, um, the good lady. So it does feel like there is some pos maybe somebody who's positive is coming into your life positive person coming into your life even though they'll be or maybe that positive person might be dealing with some grief and sorrow as well and it might involve a child so maybe the good person the good feminine the good feminine energy is dealing with some grief and sorrow and it could be related to a child on some level so there could be many reasons why that's happened. Um, in the past, it has been a really long journey, and it has been about um, where you've dealt with the news. It has dealt with um, dealt with the sadness of it all. It has been like in the living room, so it does feel like there was a maybe like a like a place where people gathered in some way. Um, definitely feels like there was a. Um, A lot of legal stuff going on with the journey and it did create some changes going on definitely feels as though there was um a good person a good lady a good feminine could be mother aspect as well within that situation but dealing with a lot of grief and the reason why i say mother is because it was dealt with a small child here so i feel like that maybe that could be mother related in some way it could be mother figure could be you know could be a child could be an aunt somebody like that dealing with a small child and it's got a lot of grief and sorrow to the situation so yeah so it seems like it's been quite a difficult journey there is some changes going on at the moment um and in the future there will be some sadness there will be some grief and sorrow but that's part of the journey and that's why i think feel like it's going to be a very long even though it's been a long road already it's going to continue to be a long journey yeah ahead it's not something that's going to um happen over you know it's not going to change overnight but it's going to take its time so yeah that's another way of um looking at the cards let's i mean you can get quite complex and do some quite large spreads and all that sort of stuff but i'm really just trying to keep it really simple try not to sort of do too much get it too complicated I mean you can definitely make the spreads quite big and quite a lot of information or you could just say okay what do I need to know today about success in love to do with the man And somebody who's not completely honest. So that's interesting. So we're talking about being successful in love, and yet we've got this guy and um, dealing with this person who's not being completely honest. 
if it does feel like there's a bit, a bit of luck in the whole process, then we get the little one. And we get a loss of money. Definitely there's a change in the situation. Feels like a change in journey. It could be causing some illness. Oh! Oops, I realised it was still recording after I walked out the door. Um, that's okay, I'll just delete that. Anyway, so that's it from me. Don't forget to check the links down below. Check the links on my channel. Like, subscribe and ring the bell so you know when the next video will be uploaded. I'll do more adding to this. Um, and etc. So anyway, talk to you later.